Our next guest, JL, says after years of emotional and even physical abuse at the hands of her own mother, she is finally ready to confront her. Help me welcome JL to the show. Can go back? Hi, Hi JL. Hi, Mama. Nice to meet you. It's such a pleasure to be here yes, today. Yes, so glad. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to be here. So I want to get into this because you decided to cut your mother out of your life. Why? So um, that's, a, that's a big decision to cut your mother out of your life. It, it really is. And it's it, I'm, I feel like I'm going through a grieving process right now because mm -hmm. um, it's come to the point where it's either cut her out or find a way to mend things because there's been so much hurt, pain, trauma. Um, it's starting to affect my kids mm. and it's affecting my ability to grow and move on. Wow. OK. So I want to know what happened two years ago. So two years ago, um, I, I pretty much had a, a mental breakdown. <laughs> um, I'm embarrassed to say this, but um, I was, you know, struggling with bills, taking care of two kids with no support. I had three jobs at the time. Yeah. And I went to my mother um, and confided in her and told her, like, look, I'm spiraling out. Uh, I need some help. Wow. So I literally um, packed bags, dropped my kids off at her house, and that was that. Wow. Uh, I ran off with some guy who was no good. I was drinking all day. I finally left that situation, went to rehab, um, and I you. went to a women's shelter. Yeah. Okay. It was the best thing I could have done. I'll, I'll tell you this. You said earlier you were embarrassed to say that you had um, a mental breakdown. You should never be embarrassed by that because all, hearing all the pressures you're going through, any of us can relate to like being so overwhelmed. But I think what's important is that you did make the decision to then get help. Karamo, I'm, I'm I was about to drop my kids off and drive off a bridge. That's where mm -hmm. I was at. And I had just been through so much that I felt like they were better off. So how long were you in rehab? I was in rehab for four months. Mm -hmm. um, it was um, a lot of intensive digging deep. I had to fix this to fix this. Of course. So what happened after <laughs> you got out? After I got out, I did. Uh, I, I ended up getting uh, a job. I ended up getting a house. I ended up getting like a really nice car. I live in a nice neighborhood and I was ready to get my kids back. Because at this point, your mother's taking care of them? Yes. Okay, then. They were, they were with her in her care and I'm super appreciative that she did come and help and I feel like a lot of it was not a choice for her, you know, because I did, did what I did, you know, and left them with her. Yeah. But um, I didn't have any options, you know? Yeah. And, you know, ending my life was not, was not the way to go. Yeah. I'm glad you figured that out. You got support and help. So how was your relationship with your mother growing up? Growing up, it was tumultuous. Yeah. Tumultuous. Um, there was um, a lot of abuse. Um, she was, uh, I know she was struggling with her own, you know, trying to bring us up on her own and everything, and she would take it out on us. A lot of physical and emotional abuse. There was. So you tell my producers that she makes up lies, that your mother makes up lies about you. She what does. does she say? She does. So she says that I'm abusive to my kids. That's like a pretty strong lie. It to is. To say like you're abusing your kids. It's serious because that reflects on how people look at me. Mm -hmm. And if I'm trying to, you know, do better in life, I don't want some cloud hanging over me. And that's why I'm here today, is to let everybody know, you know, I'm, I'm ready to confront this. I'm ready to nip it yeah. in the bud. How is your mother with your kids? She's an excellent provider. Provider financially or emotionally? Fin financially. Um, she does manipulate emotionally. Do you think your mother's trying to control you? Yes. I feel like if I don't do what she wants me to do, she takes action. Mm. And it's, 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 under, it's under wraps. Like, it's not like to my face, like, hey, JL, I need to talk to you about this or that. It's, you're doing a great job, you're a great mother, and then su such and such or so and such comes to me and tells me, your mom said ABC, you know? Oh, wow. Like, what? So you think she's manipulating you? Yeah. Wow. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship in the past? Tons. And I think that's because that's all I saw growing up was domestic violence. Are you currently in a relationship? I am. How um, is it? So I, when I got out of rehab, I wasn't looking for anything, y'all. I was not looking for anything. And, um, oh. This your boo? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it's the healthiest relationship I've ever been in. And Good for you. I sincerely hope that it's the last relationship that yeah. I'm ever in. Has your mother interfered in your relationship? Yes. Uh, so recently, she started reaching out to my partner and telling him things about my past and then telling him, don't tell her that I told you this, but... Why do you think your mother would do that? 
That's why I'm here today. Yeah. I need to know why. Like, why do you keep doing this? Are you trying to, like, tear me down? Like, what is this? So your mom said that you were abusive to your children. Is that true? I have yelled at them in the past, especially when I was drinking. I've thrown things, and that was one of the reasons why I did want to kill myself. Mm. Because, like, I couldn't believe that I had... It was my phone. I threw my phone. I felt so bad. Well, I think it's very important that we hear your mother's side of the story. So, everyone, please welcome Jackie to the show. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Mr. Cuomo. How are you doing? All lies. Okay. All lies. All fabrication. I was there when your children came home. I was there when they're crying and crawling around in their sleep, crawling for their mom. I was there when they peed in the bed from the trauma. I was there. Three CPS cases that I've had to take over your children because you left, but they still confirm the abuse happened. Was CPS called three times on? No, I called yes. CPS on myself before because I told normal. them that it's not normal because I needed help. I didn't know what to you do. do. You, I've always had babysitters for my kids. So were there two kids. other cases? Because you're saying There's there were. There's at least three. There's not. There's yes, not. There is. If there was, I would not three. have custody of my kids. I would not be their you custodial can parent. The and cases, I, they would not be with what? me. You know what? You can find the paperwork. The cases are available. So let me ask you a question. If that's the case, why do you keep releasing them to my care? Don't you have an I obligation to them I don't release them to your well? care. I try to work with you because woman to woman, I want the children to be with their mother because that's the way it is. These are our cubs. Mom. And let me tell you something. I'm the matriarch of my family, the leader There's of my the family. There's the narcissism even right there. The narcissism you, right there, y'all. Even if you do not want to take to responsibility me, for your mental best. health... They, both of you are making a lot of accusations. I'm going to ask you. She said she went to rehab. She said she got better. She said she's trying. Do you believe that she's sober? No. You do not believe I she's believe sober? I believe she went to rehab, but I believe she should have gone for some type of opiate or some kind of drug. And I'll tell opiate. you why. Because, oh. Oh, Lord. because this boyfriend here oh. told me, he said that they would go into the bathroom and she would take drugs with her friends. I would smoke so marijuana. Was not present. Oh, my God. She was pr wasn't present Lock me uh, up. mentally with her children. So, in your opinion, she wasn't present because this man said there was drugs? I believe she wasn't present because she was, she was medicating, self-medicating her mental illness. I smoke weed. I don't... That's I don't, what I do. I don't smoke any other... Have you ever had a drug... Have you ever had a drug And PTSD drug is issues? what's been caused me, by no. you and I've you and your problems. Issue. Never. Projecting on me my whole life. No, I've never done anything. She says she, you're projecting. Oh, my How goodness. You feel? You've never done anything? I feel that she does it wow. because it works. So, JL, I know your brother is in the audience, Jaden. Jaden, how are you doing? Uh, all right. I got, I got to tell you, Jaden, it yes. breaks my heart to see your mother and your sister like this. Breaks because I do want to help you both. And I'm trying to connect the dots of figuring out how I can help you. So I need somebody who's in the house, who's around them. What story is true? Honestly, from what I can tell, she feels fake. A lot of the time. Who, yes. your sister? Feel my sister fake. feels... Yes, you feel Well, fake. because I don't show my authentic self to my mom because I always get backlash no, even when with, I we've do. We've never had a relationship. <laughs> do you we not don't. realize that? We I don't know have that. And I'm sorry about that. Jane, I want to ask you a question. How old are you? I'm 19. You're 19. So, are the claims that your mother's making, because you're old enough to say you can witness this, about CPS and about this abuse, are those things real? Yes, I've, real? Had, I've had to have conversations with CPS workers. That's multiple not times. True. You have. Yes. That's not true. So when CPS came, it wasn't three times that I've had it called on me. That's not, that's not true. And I'm sorry that she told you that or whatever she told well, you. Did she tell when you I that or did you talk mom, to them? Jail, you can say whatever you want about mom. I'm whatever. going to. I'm going to say my truth I, I and I'm putting it into it today. Really I'm going to be honest with you. Let him speak. Go ahead, baby. You can say whatever you want about her. But from what I've seen, you are not exactly the best person. That's fine. You can have when your opinion about me based on what she's telling you. Because no, it's not for all for what... You and her I've have a different had a dynamic with than you. me and her. You were born when I was 15, baby. So you don't know what I went through with this woman. Oh, really? And you also do not know... Oh, what I had to live through it. She no, with your no, kids. No. You well. are emotionally manipulative. What are so you Jackie, talking about? Jackie, you tell my producers that you think that JL is still doing drugs. <laughs> What do you think she's she's? Using? I don't think she's doing drugs like that. I think she met she self medicates because she's had well, that's she has using anxiety. Drugs. That's using. Yes, oh, so she's just it's making anxiety. this stuff up. It's anxiety. I think if I was using I drugs really to her, self medicate, I wouldn't be honest about my I, marijuana use. Did, did you tell my my producers that that you think that your daughter needs a drug test? Yes. 
I do believe why, she does. Why do you think she needs a drug test? I think she needs a drug test so we can see how long or if she is taking something because... Uh, we can do that and, today. And what, and what, what, uh, what, is, what is that going to do for you if you find out... It'll, it'll help us all understand maybe why her state of mind. She has no emotion, even with her children. Do you want to take a drug test? I just heard you say yes. We can take a drug test. It's going to have marijuana on it. If you think that drugs could be an issue and you're saying you agree, let's get that off the table. Okay. Let's because do what it. I need to start doing is I need to start chopping away at some yes. of whatever this BS is so that I can know. So if we think it's drugs, let's get it on the table. If we think it's mental health, we need to get to things. Because right now, it's just back and forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you go backstage, and we're going to have you take the drug test right okay, now. Okay, let's yeah. do it. You're gonna, like, if you go backstage, my producer is going to meet you. Okay. Your concern is there could be drug use that could be causing your daughter to be in an erratic state, correct? Yes. An emotional state. Yes. We just gave you a drug test right now. So you tested negative for all drugs in your system. <laughs> Except for marijuana. So, so, you now know and have clarity your daughter is not on drugs. You can't make accusations based on her past. Because what's happening here, you're in defense mode because you had a past. You've owned up to it. You're, you're ashamed. You're still feeling guilt. But you're trying to be better. Your mother is afraid that for some reason you're gonna slip back into that past. Mm -hmm. And so she's trying to do everything to look for any sign that says you're gonna slip back in that past so that she can save everybody else before things go awry. Am I right? Yes. Perfect. But the problem of this matter is that things are not going awry. Your daughter has stepped up and she's doing what she needs to do. So you don't need to be in protective mode right now. Okay. You don't. Yeah. You don't. Because you being in protective mode right now is causing issues. It's the truth of the matter. At this point, you need to take a step back. Yes. You have to take a step back. Yes. And, and what you have to also do is stop judging her for her past Thank and you. let her be who she is today. Thank you. Okay. But you got to take some ownership right now, too. For sure. Because, for sure. because you've been engaged in this. Yes. And at the end of the day, I had a whole 20 minutes of confusion of like where the kids were at when you could have just clearly said, my mom watches my kids five days a week so they can go to school. You got custody of your kids. I sure do. Thank you. I you sure got custody do. of your kids. There is no open CPS. There is no open CPS case. Nope. So you can't say that she's controlling you. Yeah, and a lot of it is because nope, I'm scared. Nope. It's yes. To... Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. It's yes. I need you to hear that. It's yes. 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 Because you came out here and said your mom is controlling you, but your mother's not controlling you. Mm -hmm. You're still afraid, just the same way she is, that you're going to slip back into your past. Mm -hmm. But there is a little bit of your fear from the past that's haunting mm -hmm. you as well. The guilt from your past is haunting you as well. But you've done the work, girl. You own the work you've done. Own it. And don't let her opinion of your past, don't let your little brother's opinion of your past, don't let nobody's opinion of your past stop you from acknowledging the work you're doing and show your kids that, yes, mom made mistakes, but I want to be here now. And that's what it is. And if something happens, I already know you're going to step in. And because oh, I, yeah. I know you will, but I until something that. happens, you don't need to step in no more. I and agree. that's just it. You understand? Yes, I agree. So that's it. No more going in circles anymore. And what I know both of you need to do, you need to fall back, you need to step up. Okay. And that's it. Thank you. Can I do that? Yes, I can do no that. No more this circle. No more like, oh my gosh, it was this day and this day and that and that, done. And I think that if y'all can both stop engaging, you step up, you step back, Everything's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. All right? Thank you. Listen, everybody. It took me some time, but we got to the bottom of this situation. Hold on. Where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more. Period.